Well, it is very rare that we get introduced to a guy on a national level where he just puts out banger after banger after yeah. banger. And just song after song after song that you're going, okay, he gets it. He knows how to write country music, yeah. and he knows what he's doing. And then you see him on shows where he's performing with like people that are outside the box, like Avril Lavigne. And you mm-hmm. go, all right, now the guy gets it even more. He knows what he's doing. Give it up for Nate Smith. Nate, Nate Smith. Nate, what is up? Hey. Hey, what's up, my friend? <laughs> hey, brother. Well, listen, man, I mean every word of that because when we got introduced to you, I mean, it just the, the album and then the the, uh, the EP, it just says uh, he, he gets it. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but I, I, I love making music. I'm acting, bro. Okay. I, I, Where are you? Because you're cutting in and out now. I know. It sucks. I have horrible stuff. Wait, are you, are you on the road? Here. Are you on tour somewhere? Are you on your way here? Yep. <laughs> yep, I'm in Kansas. All right, very nice. Well, you know the big, the next big milestone for you is that you are on tour with, well, arguably one of the biggest artists in country music, Morgan Wallen, and uh, we can't wait Let's to see go. you here this Thursday and Friday. I mean, dude, when you're stepping into a stadium, uh, what is that feeling like? So it's basically like living the Eminem song. You know, my knees are actually weak. It's, <laughs> it's as cheesy as that is. I'm so nervous going out there, but. It's honestly a blast, too. I mean, it's amazing. Now, has Morgan said anything to you to kind of make you feel more at ease? Or is he kind of in his own lane on these tours, and then you're kind of in your space? Or do you guys get to mingle a little bit? Honestly, like, we we don't get to hang out a whole lot. Like, I might catch him shooting hoops here and there. Okay. Um, And then, uh, you know, he might, like, one time I said, hey, like, let's get after it this week. He's like, let's get it. But I haven't had, like, a... I need Morgan that top. <laughs> well, that's all good, man. Hey, you're in the building. That's all that matters. That's right. Yeah. Thing. And then that's you got it. another that's beast it. on this tour as well with Jelly Roll playing these two dates here in Tampa. I mean, is there a nicer guy out there? There, there actually is not. There actually is not. And I, I love Jelly so much. He's one of the nicest, sweetest people. Every time I see him, he sings my World on Fire song. It's, it's hilarious. Aww. <laughs> Well, he it's does. funny because we you play your that. World on Fire song every day here, yeah. as a matter of fact. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. I, I just saw that it looks like it's it, right, right now it's on track to be the number one uh, song of the of the year for uh, most played, which is crazy. To me. I believe Ooh, it. Let's, let's go. go. Nice. I love it, though. That's well, awesome. Well deserved. Holy crap, y'all. Thank you. So is there anything Thanks. that um, you've done to prepare yourself for, you know, this big tour with, with Morgan? I mean, this is massive that you're on this. I mean, tons. I mean, we have, we've had a lot of rehearsals and figuring out the right songs to play out there. It's been a big thing. And just, you know, I mean, it's just, it's a, it's a whole nother level, whole nother league. Yeah. And uh, we're, we're learning every single day that we're out there. And it's just such a blast. And I'm glad that like, I'm glad like I didn't get a record deal and go right on a tour like this. Yeah. So, like yeah. the newer artists that get thrown into this kind of thing so much, so quick, I, I don't envy that um, because there's been so many steps to get to this point and I'm glad that we've went, we didn't skip any steps you know oh, absolutely I love that you said that uh, do, is there anybody that you like trust their opinion when it comes to how you did like you know like we talk after a show and we go hey do you feel like that show went well did you feel like we had a good show today I mean is there anybody that in your camp yes. that you go to after every show like yes. how was it <laughs> yes that's Adam my tour manager okay he, uh, he, he will shoot me straight whether I like it or not I'm like how do we do he's like you know yeah, I mean, I'm like, come on, bro. Come on. And he just kind of, you know, I'm like, okay, it sucks. He's like, no, I didn't say it sucks. It's just, you know, I mean, like, it's, just, you've had other times, you know, that, that were, you know, maybe better or whatever. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> well, I'll tell Lie you what, last time you were here, uh, you played Bulletproof on stage for the very Let's first go. time. You were in Clearwater yes. with Chris yes. Young. And now look at, you're about to have another number one song. It's climbing up there. I think it's five right now or something crazy, which is just insane. Oh, you'll get it. You know you will. <laughs> hey, you know, I, I, you know, what do they say? Don't count the eggs before they hatch kind of thing. But I, I appreciate you guys playing the heck out of it. I love singing it live every night. You know, speaking of Bulletproof, how did that collaboration with Avril come about? Oh, man, it's so weird. I just, I sort of dreamed it. Okay. And then I talked to my management team and they happened to have a relationship with her and her camp, reached out, and then she texted me. I was in an airport and she's like, what's up with Avril? And I was like, I feel like I'm going to faint. Oh, wow. Uh, and it was, it was crazy. And then we just texted and she's just very down to earth and very normal. And then, um, we just talked about the song if she wanted to do it. And it, was, it just kind of happened very organically and naturally. And, and then we got in trouble, uh, you know, drinking and, and, and being <laughs> crazy and in, in LA and getting chased by paparazzi, you know, I mean, it's just, 
As you should. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Well, the Bulletproof is from the uh, Through the Smoke EP that just came out. When I got to the last track, I saw Heart Shaped Box, which is the Nirvana song. So, and dude, you rock that song. It is so good. It's, you know, so hard oh. to cover a Nirvana song in your way, and you do it excellent. Is that one oh. that you were like, man, I want to record this song? How'd that come to be? Literally, that's how it happened. We were, um, there's a there's another version of World on Fire called the Bonfire version. Um, while we were recording that, um, my guitar player started playing the riff for uh, Heart Shaped Box. Was like, this sound is so good. I was like, dude, we should record that one. What are we doing? I love this song so much. That's how it happened. He, he was literally just playing the riff. Dude, that and, takes uh, some... we decided to do it right then and there. It takes some guts, man. To yeah. Be like, yeah I'll, I'll do a Nirvana song. I mean, that was brave. And then Nirvana. to release it and, like that. And then live, we've been doing um, a different um, 90s song that you guys will see. Chasing um, Cars? Florida. No, not Chasing Cars. Oh, oh the teaser. We got a teaser. We got a teaser. You won't guess it. All right. All right. I can't I wait. It. I love it. Talking to Nate Smith right now. Going to be here Thursday and Friday with Morgan Wallen. Hey, dude, we are so excited for you. It's a, you're a guy that we root for, and uh, we are pumped to see you live at Raymond James Stadium here Thursday and Friday. Am I going to give you guys a big hug? Is that happening? Is that set up? Absolutely. <laughs> Huge hugs. Hugs all okay. around. I really want to give you guys a big old hug and see you guys in the radio room. So. <laughs> all right. We can't wait to see you. I love you guys. You're amazing. All right, Nate. See you, buddy. Cheers.